the right corner. Juan Ramirez. And here are your light flyweights. 106 on the left, Juan Ramirez, 21 years old, and his opponent from the USA, Albert Guardado, 21-year-old native of Topeka, Kansas. They'll fight three rounds, three minutes each, and you look at the tail of the tape, both at 106, height about the same, one of the few fights in which both boxers are about the same height. The Cubans have a tremendous height advantage in this competition. Long arms on these youngsters. The reach is going to show but so will the entire ringmanship. So we're set to go. The third man in the ring is Omar Raviri. Both boxers in the blue trunks. Of course, the Cubans have the red uh, vest and the Americans the blue vest, and that's about the only way, other than the color of the headgear, we're going to be able to tell some of these boxers apart. Sam, I have this pick so far as, as a very evenly matched... Uh, bout in this competition, a good light flyweight matchup, if you will. Ramirez comes from Camaway, Cuba, located down in the heart of the country. So he's worked his way up from the center of, of, of this country onto the national team. We might also add, too, that Ramirez is one of the most inexperienced of the Cuban boxers, having been part of the national team for just one year. Uh, they've got some of uh, their kids who have been around for eight, nine, and ten years on this team. Well, that's pretty much why I call this a, a good even match going into it, because Guardado, on the other hand, is one of our experienced boxers. He's a leader. Um, he's got significant experience as police athletic league in USA champion for 1993 and 1994. So uh, I think we've got a good opener for tonight's show. <laughs> Ramirez working upstairs and downstairs, and of course the purpose of amateur boxing is to land knuckle surface blows using the white part of the boxing gloves to land them in the hitting areas. And Ramirez is very active here in the first round, and Guardado reduced a little bit to counterpunching, Van. A little bit, but both boxers are still very strong on their feet right now, if you will, Sam. Each looking for the opening in the other boxing. Right now it looks like Ramirez is getting off a little bit quicker, though, than Guardado. A little over a minute left here in round number one, scheduled for three rounds. You see Ramirez continually look, looking for the opening, and even though he's on the retreat, or so it seems, he's really in control, knows where he is in the ring very much of the time. There is a definite strategy in this boxing, certainly by the USA boxing team. They have seen enough of the Cubans to know that they all fight with basically the same style, and they're trying to break the rhythm. You'll hear Van and, and uh, I refer to that throughout the course of this competition. We saw, we saw just a short while ago a good left jab by Guardado. If he can land that jab and score, he can actually go up on Ramirez. Under 30 seconds to go in the round. Pretty good first round. Got this crowd up and around, aroused already. Nice combination by Ramirez. Guardado counters well. 15 seconds left in the round. Boy, they both exchange good rights. We've come to the end of a very good first round. 106 is the weight. Ramirez comes out, moves inside, which is the Cuban style, and gets involved in a flurry of punches, some of which look like they may have landed and some of which didn't. Looking at it from another angle, it's kind of a hunt and search for Ramirez, but at the same time, Guardado remains active on his side of the ring, so that's up to the official to determine who got the best, best of this flurry. Okay. And here we go with round number two. Again, it's Juan Ramirez in the red uh, sweater vest and Albert Guardado in the blue sweater vest. Guardado representing Team USA that seven months ago had such a, a difficult time with the Russians, losing here 10 to 2, and they're both very active. Guardado right now, Sam, is ranked as the number one 106 pounder in the United States. So he's bringing a lot of U.S. experience into this bout right here. Al Mitchell is the uh, coach who is occupying the uh, corner for the USA. And his advice to Guardado at the end of round one was you got to get off faster. He noticed immediately what you probably noticed at home, and that it was Ramirez getting off his punches a little bit quicker than Guardado. 
And again, I think we're going to see that very much tonight is the quickness of the of the Cuban boxers to get off first, as they say in the sport. Both boxers still moving very, very well. I like to see the 106 pounders because they're very fleet in the ring as compared to the heavyweights. These are the light flyweights. Under two minutes to go in the second round. Again, three rounds for each bout. Three minutes each round. Twelve bouts on the evening. That is the entire card. USA having never beaten Cuba and Ramirez piling up the points now. Just fighting in five and six uh, about uh, punch combinations. Guardado seemed to cover quite a bit there, did not get the punches off. On the other hand, Ramirez seemed to land quite a few in that exchange. Very vocal crowd here at Foxwoods Resort Casino. We're in Ledyard, Connecticut. Two looping overhand.